Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sequoia and in this video I'm going to be recapping my 2022 year. This year was a very transformative year for me and it started in this video that you need to go watch. I believe it's called last week of 2021 plus sharing my new year's resolution and I actually followed them so that's probably why this year was so it was one of my better years before you watch this video you should go watch this video i don't know where it's gonna be i share all my resolutions put your, into it, put your back, into it, put your, don't stop hitting it oh my gosh i literally just filmed the intro and my phone stopped recording like what are you doing <clears throat> Firstly, I'm going to share my 2022 resolutions. Secondly, I'm going to recap month by month. But the last few months when I was abroad, that might be together because that was a whole lot, a whole lot. That's too much to explain. You better be recording on my book. <laughs> These were my 2022 are regular. <laughs> if y'all hear noises, my sister is watching TV in the living room and I'm in the kitchen, so don't play. And here she comes. <laughs> Hmm? Come here. Hey, no, 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 no. Don't check it. Don't check it. It might fall. Come here. Okay. Take the Pikachu. <laughs> All right, here I go. Play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. So yes, these were my 2022 resolutions. Go to sleep by 10 p.m. Wake up at 6 a.m. Exercise at least four days a week. Read two books a month. Drink at least 115 ounces of water a day. Eat fruit every day. Eat vegetables every day. Go on two outdoor adventures a month. Meditate twice daily. Stretch twice daily. Listen to a new album every week. Watch a new movie every week. Watch, 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 watch. Try new recipes and apply to scholarships. I did apply to scholarship. <laughs> Some of these are quantitative. So I followed them strictly. For the first two to three months as my life changed and I wasn't in school, they started to like not be as consistent, but I was still doing these things. I'm gonna do a month by month recap. But let's start in January. I use Google Photos to assist me in this because, you know, I document my life. So everything on Google Photos will help me remember what was going on. January 2022 in the search box and then it'll show me all the pictures and videos from 2022. Okay, so there should be a video for almost every month so you can kind of see what I was doing during that month and whatnot. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Let me read my notes first. So January, I feel like I was thriving. I was implementing my new habits. I had very good mental health. I was eating healthy. I was going to the gym. I was reading. I was meal prepping. I was doing all the good things. Like, I feel like my mental health was skyrocketing. I was just doing so good and i feel like almost all aspects of my life i'm gonna pop up pictures and videos on the screen so you can see like footage from january or whatever just so you have something to refer to yeah january just was a really good month just because i feel like i was being really intentional Ooh, and the two books that i read the four agreements and the power of now i highly suggest reading both the power of now emphasizes living in the moment the present is all we have don't be stressing about the future or the past you know stuff like that so it's like the power of now like you just have now do it now be it now be good now. Appreciate now. And then the four agreements. Be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. I was reading those books and I feel like the philosophy was so good. I just resonated with it a lot. This whole year I was focusing on self-help and spirituality. It was a big factor in my thrivation. That's obviously you get my gist. And I was going to group fitness classes. This is when I was watching Living Single a lot. I was so obsessed with it. This is like where I began my fitness journey because I was actually starting to weight lift and stuff like that. So let's move to February. I said I had good mental health. I was prepping to study abroad. I'm going strong in the gym. I applied for my passport. Oh, I went skiing this month. Let me talk about that, but let me finish what I what I, what I said. I got the vaccine strictly for study abroad. It's worth it. I was still reading. And let's look at the footage. Oh, I read this book, What a Time to Be Alone. There's Loki, some type of universal philosophy, God, universe, who, whoever, whatever. Go by this type of logic in life. You should be good. So I was supposed to talk about skiing. So yeah, skiing was fun. I really was into trying new things this year and I'm just into that all the time. I'm skiing for the first time. When I tell you, I am not a coward. I do not get fear rule in my life. But I don't think I'm gonna be going skiing again. When I tell you I was flying down that mountain, I was flying down that mountain. Pizza, fry, hamburger, pizza, whatever it was, it was not working. Something was wrong with the equipment. So I literally missed like the little tutorial that the dude gave us. So I was out there all after the fact and I was just zooming around my mind. Like I could not stop and I fell so many times and it's not a casual fall. When you fall, when you ski, that's a big fall. And the equipment be coming off and it hurts. It was just so chaotic, but it was fun. I met at least one new friend on that trip. I vlogged 
something in February. Go watch that. Is it even bedtime? Yeah, girl, it's almost bedtime. Alexa, Jesus. Let's get into March. Literally go watch everything if you have not already. And that's what's about to happen by March was spring break. We went to Las Vegas and then we did a little road trip to Utah. We went to Zion National Park. Go watch it, it was fun. I've been all the way to the West Coast, California, Oregon, or Washington. It's on the East Coast. It's the West Coast. The East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. I feel like I would love California. Back, my back. My neck and my back go. What I wrote for March was spring bake. Spring bake. Spring break. Eric Mom. <laughs> what did I say? Still working out. Sunbathe. I love to sunbathe. Like just lay out in the sun. And when I'm doing that, my mental health knows it's great. Oh, I went to a drag show. I went to Piney Lake zip lining. I went to this activity on campus and made some vision boards. I just like all positive things. Like if something is so good for you and it barely has any detriments or like consequences for example yoga it's good for your mental health it's good for your body mind body soul like it's just good vegas was super fun like i actually had money to spend i was spending time in nature we went through everything oh do i really have to say all this go watch the video go watch that video i did an exploring las vegas vlog and then i vlogged when we went to zion national park something about a national park and state parks they like like they do something to me i love the mountains i love the outside i love hiking oh, yeah i just love being outside and i love the sun i love land activities i'm cruising around with you what else did i do i feel like that was the highlight of this month oh when i saw eric nam it was my first concert i never listened to any of eric nam's music before so when she asked me i was like uh, i don't really listen to his music I said yes anyway i looked at the set list and i listened to all those songs i liked it he can sing really well live and he was looking good you know what i'm saying go watch that video oh yeah i could see everything you didn't see anything he didn't see anything <laughs> what was i talking about oh eric no nah. yes i'm just glad for my tonus in that situation it really came in handy for april i have written african chill tennis sunbathe tennessee accept the situation got my passport bts pgd art activities on campus time in nature and piney lake go watch that vlog right now all this stuff i'm talking about i actually recorded most of it i got my passport my passport came so quickly talk about tennessee we went on a raft and hike we'll learn soon enough that this was only a hike and not a raft on the first day we hiked in the freaking snow summited the whole mouth in some snow like i was working out because i was in shape but i was still out of breath after we hiked on the mountain we went to this place to set up camp all of a sudden the group leader called us over and she was like i have to tell y'all something I'm supposed to go rafting that morning but that night she got word from somebody that if we went rafting that morning we could have had hypothermia but i was like low key like low key i would want to go home i really had accepted the situation it was a pleasant surprise like if hypothermia is a possibility no i don't want to go rafting like what besides this life lesson of accepting the situation like accept the situation you are in you can't control external factors you need to accept that situation having positive thinking and the mindset shift just really like changes your experience april may let's get into may yes my birthday is on may 14th so my graduation which is my older sister my birthday colorado and oh i deleted instagram this year i intend to have minimal social media because like i was saying earlier i like to do things where the pros outweigh the cons and for social media i feel like the cons outweigh the pros i just sat back and i was like why am i posting am i seeking validation like what am i doing up here i'm mindlessly scrolling paying attention to other people's life i just feel like what am i doing up there nothing <laughs> i'm wasting time ultimately just delete it because it just wasn't giving. I deleted Snapchat a while ago. I still have Twitter, but basically that Twitter is like a K-pop stan account. I went with my closest friend, Kara Stan. We went to her graduation. She stayed in her apartment. We stayed in this ghetto hotel. That hotel was after that night at the ghetto hotel, we stayed at an Airbnb. I invited a good amount of friends out to the Airbnb and we went to this outdoor place. I ziplined and rafted. I was only in there for like three minutes before I fell out rowing. We was in a boat. Hit this thing and I literally fell out. All three of us fell out. Me, Jayla, and Kirsten. And me and Jayla fell out like to the left and like people put us in with the rope. Kirsten like nobody put her out. It was low key scary. And I fell in the water. Fell in. I came up and went down. Came up and went down. And there was a raft literally about to run me over. They were like move. We're out of the way. I'm like bitch don't y'all see me suffering. Really like scarred my foot. I still have a scar. That night we went to the club. We went to like three different clubs. It was so chaotic. I cannot even explain. 
name, but I don't like the club. That's what I've learned. Club is ghetto. It seems like a super dark place. That's some place I don't want to be. Do not ask me to go to the club because I don't like the club. I don't know. Never again. June, I went to DC to get my study visa. I spent a lot of time with family. I had an on-campus job for the month of June. And then I like packed up to go back home and then to go to Africa after that. As far as the habits go, I was kind of being inconsistent. Who does it? Who does it? Hey, hey. I was not gonna touch it. Okay, I don't really have much to say about June, but I feel like my mental health wasn't the best. July, I was prepping to study abroad. I uh, went to the lake for the 4th of July. That was really fun. Family time. What does that say? Popped my friend. What? I hope my friend moved. Mid July, I left. I flew Africa. Mid July, August, September, October, and November, I was in Cape Town, South Africa. The first like two months, I feel like my mental health was so bad. I feel like I was slipping into depression low key, but thankfully I did not. I did a lot of fun things. I hiked so much. I can't articulate everything. In September and October, I had goals for myself. Like I did yoga every day and little stuff like that. It's a good experience, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Let me go watch those. My study abroad series, I have, I think, six episodes, so go watch that. Just wanted to reflect. This is for me and for you. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment them below. 2022 really changed my life, even though I oh, changed my life because I started being intentional in 2022, and I feel like that made a huge change. Self-help journey and my spiritual journey, healing journey, like all of that was this year ultimately it was it's for the better like it's really helping me i found myself i found peace i feel like i have the spiritual tools and facilities to operate better in life i read so many books i have a lot to say it's just hard to articulate and to put my thoughts into words 2022 was an amazing year and i'm looking forward to 2023 go watch all my videos comment what videos y'all want to see next year comment below whatever comment below your resolutions comment below how your year was how was your mental health this year what was the biggest lesson you learned remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications i'm gonna need you to do that that is important operate out of love do things out of love not out of hate because that's ghetto you need to have hope that things will work out because if you don't have hope that things will work out what do you have nothing you just think like, if you, I feel like hope really gets us through some things because if you don't have hope, things will get better. Do you have hope that things will get worse? Like, what? Have some hope. Go with the flow. Trust that things will work out. Have hope and faith for positive results. And then I create my reality. Basically, I create my reality. An example of that is, like this year, I intended to do all those resolutions and I did them. So I created that reality. I created my consistent routine. I created, I created it. I created it. You know what I mean? I don't want to explain all that. And this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.